Thank you. Council, just it's my understanding of your rules that we'll keep the clock going five minutes per person, including the questions and the answers. Council Member Ryder. Mr. Mamatoff, I'm going to ask you a question real quick. So run, because we're on a clock. Um, why was it set 5% before? It was set 5% before interest rates uh, were... You got it. True interest fast. cost was in the low three, you know, three point two, something like that. So obviously, with interest rates rising to where we are now, and I'll try to speak really quickly, um, um, they're much closer to five percent. So that we set it based on market conditions at that time. Okay. So many things have been brought up since this agenda item has come to light, including some of the public comments. We are actually voting on the interest rate because the interest rates have risen. Is that correct? That is correct. I just and want to be I really vote. clear what we're voting on because you seem to be rehashing a lot of other things. Yes. Thank you so much. Mr. You're Caldwell, welcome. I'll call on you next. I'd like to ask you a question super fast. There's folks that have to use the bathroom, and I know everyone's tired, so that's why we're being hasty. Um, did a uh, county commission vote on this last night? They did. Did they vote on the previous um, uh, agenda item last night? They did. How did they vote? Unanimously approved. Did they have any speakers? Did anyone come and speak? Everything was done at, at the workshop the week before. It was on the consent agenda. They did didn't anyone speak at the it. workshop? Ms. Ryder has the floor. Go ahead. That's yes. okay. She doesn't believe other people get a chance to ask questions. Mr. Mamatov spoke at, at the workshop. No, I'm saying the members of the public and opposition speak at county commission. There was public form. I don't, I don't recall anyone. No one. Okay, so it's just here. Ms. Parker, Councilwoman Parker, I have a question for you. Can I ask you about the questions and time? You, you said you had 30 pages worth of questions. Yes. Um, were you not afforded the opportunity? Did you not reach out to Ms. Welch to talk to her about this? I before? did. And I she had more questions than could be answered in the last four days. Sorry, six days since our agenda was did you not know about this agenda item that was in the media prior to I, that? I'm sorry, I, I'm not able to get details before it's posted on our agenda. I did re watch the county commission non-meeting, non-discussion on this agenda item, and I did download the uh, ad items from their agenda. Did you not reach out to Ms. Welch and ask her for a meeting? What, what is the point of your questions? I'm I just asking because you said you had 30 pages of questions tonight. And I wanted to know if you had a chance to ask Ms. Welch prior to this meeting your questions. I have, I've reached out multiple times to Ms. Welch. I also have other things to do other than this one agenda item. We have been given six days. I mean, Councilman uh, we, Thomas, we have, okay, did ahead. you have a chance to ask Ms. Welch questions prior to this meeting? Yes, I did. Councilman Roberto, Vice Mayor Roberto, did you ask Ms. Welch questions prior to this meeting? Did you have a meeting with her? I believe we had a phone call. Okay. Uh, Tom Testerman? Okay. Uh, Smith? Yes. Fugit, did you have meetings with Ms. Welch? Uh, McKenzie? Yes. Ms. Singh, did you, Councilwoman Singh? Councilwoman Ryder. I just want I to find know this you... really disturbing. Okay, well, I it's just, that's fine. I find it performative to um, an audience, is what I find it. I'm sorry if that bothers you. 